So in this video, we're going to talk about binary coded decimal, which is referred to as BCD. Uh, this is helpful for AS level students. And also if you're in year nine, this is something that you need to be able to do on your term one understanding computers topic. So binary coded decimal is really easy. We're using nibbles to represent um, binary numbers. So in this case, this would be nine, seven, six. So if I wanted to represent the binary number 976 in BCD, this is how I would do that. You will notice that this is different to using regular binary, because if I wanted to represent the binary number 976 in regular binary, it would look in look instead like this. So it's about being able to understand that, okay, there are different formats of binary and this is one of them. How is this used? So if you think about digital displays where they um, display uh, deanery numbers, but digitally, this is one application of binary coded decimal. Let's do some more examples. What would the deanery number 312 look like in BCD? So all you need to do is represent each deanery digit using one binary nibble. A nibble is a group of four bits, right? So three in binary is this, one in binary is this, two in binary is this. So this is three, one, two in BCD. Let's do another one. Let's do six, one, nine, 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 seven. This is six in binary. This is one in binary. This is nine, 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 and this is seven. Therefore, this is six, one, nine, 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 seven in BCD. Just so you're clear, the reason why these numbers are the way they are in binary is because binary is based on this idea of base two. Um, each column value is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three. Um, and that's how I'm getting these particular binary numbers. Let's do one more, let's convert this number. Let me just help use Python to help me check something here. Okay, good. This is a valid BCD number because its um, number of bits are a multiple of four. So that makes it a valid BCD number. So let's work out what this BCD number is in Deanery. Take the first group of four bits and we can see that that's six. The next group is, oh, I take it back. Can you see why this BCD number is invalid? So when we're using BCD, we have access to all of the binary values up to nine, but because, um, because 10 and above can't be represented using, uh, can't be represented using a single digit in binary, you'll see that nine is the maximum number. So in the number that we just tried to convert, the first nibble is valid because this is six. However, when the system would try to, to, to process this second number, which is the binary value of, of 13, this is where it would crash, making this BCD number invalid. Uh, let's do another one. Let's try and make a valid one this time. what would this BCD number be? This is seven. This is nine. This is eight. Got the same nibble again, so this is eight. So this BCD number is 7,988 in binary. Let's do one more number.
see if you can work out this cell or work out this yourself if this is a bcd number what is its deanery equivalent okay if you said it was invalid then that was the correct answer so let's think again why is this invalid does it contain any nibbles greater than nine no but what's the other reason that it could be invalid is the length of this binary number a multiple of four because i get an answer here that's not zero that means it's not a multiple so once again a bcd number must have um a, a multiple of four as its length must be a multiple must be a multiple of four in length and the second thing is no nibble can be greater than nine so in this video we've been looking at bcd binary coded decimal which is like an alternative binary system that's used for um, displaying deanery numbers on digital displays <laughs>